<laughs> That's illegal. I'm sure we'll probably be arrested for it. What are you doing, Gina? exciting this weekend. Stephen and I are here at the Tennessee Pass Nordic Center in Cook House. We're going to be spending the weekend learning how to cross-country ski. We're going to also be sleeping in a yurt off-grid. It's the 10th Division Mountain, I think it's called the 10th Mountain Division Yurt. And we're going to be eating wild game at the um, Cook House tonight, which is super exciting because I've never had wild game before. So really looking forward to this weekend and looking forward to sharing it with everybody. I was gonna say something loving. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Okay. Right. okay. Thanks. For sure. Yeah, so uh, we've got on some cross country skis here, and uh, we've really both been doing this since we were two or three. <laughs> so we could cross country ski before we could walk. So, Actually, uh, this is my first time, so. <laughs> and, uh, I and I think you did it in Buffalo. Didn't you do it I in, did Buffalo? in Buffalo? Buffalo about 15 years ago. Yeah, but it's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. Yeah, so we're going to watch Steven go. Okay. Here he goes. Oh, look at that. He's all natural. What are you doing, Gina? <laughs> I'm cross country skiing <laughs> the Florida way. What, what happened to your skis? I keep falling. Uphills are terrible. <laughs> Look at me. I'm covered in sand. This is going to be so much faster. You watch. You said you're covered in sand. I mean, well, like <laughs> let's let these folks go by. Look at this. this is funny. So what happened there? I fell several times. I couldn't get up. <laughs> and I'm just going to walk up. So. How are you guys doing? Hi. Hey. Going? Good. You, you made a wise choice of footwear. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are braver than us. Oh, well, I, I don't think there. that's the right word. Brave. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we're trying. Okay. How okay. Is it? You going to put yours back on? No. You're not gonna, you have to put it when back on. When we get on. to the fat part. <laughs> I'm gonna take them off when we go up the hill. <laughs> We're almost to our yurt. It's called the Polar Bear Yurt. Polar Bear Yurt. Okay, you ready? We're gonna walk towards it. <laughs> this way to our yurt. That's the Belvedere. That's not 
side of ice. This is our wood. Here's our outhouse. It's a shared outhouse. Oh no, cold. My hands are freezing. Here we go. Oops. Walking down. Hit with a wave of heat. Holy cow, it's so hot in here. Because they already have the fire going for us. They brought our bags and boots down on a snowmobile. Got the fire going. Each of these bunks is a double bed. And then you got a queen for the important folks. And uh, I'm on fire. Yeah. And then look, table. We can watch the northern lights through the roof yurt. We're only about half of all Earth's latitudes away from that. <laughs> and then we've got our own kitchen, and we're going to do a more detailed tour of our kitchen. And the beds are very comfortable. They're all down feathers, down feather beds. How'd you get up there? I climbed up the ladder. There's a ladder on the side. Ooh. It's really hot up here, though. Yeah, we need to sleep like on the floor. Oh, goodness. So we're, uh, we're going to crank open our top. And they gave us explicit instructions on how to do it. And I don't remember any of them. So I do remember him saying, at some point, you need to stop. I don't know what that means. All right. You see anything happening? Yeah, it's pushing up. All around oh, there it goes. Side. I can see when you need to stop it. Don't stop it yet. Keep going. Open that baby up. He said when it gets difficult. It's there you go. Difficult. Okay, perfect. What? It's reduced. I got it on sale. <laughs> So we're thinking maybe it's not a good no. idea to buy reduced, no, uh, please we... buy today stamped <laughs> it didn't cheese. Say that. Because as soon as you open the it cheese, does. it smells like they forgot to take the garbage well, out. Well, no, the brie, <laughs> the brie smells like that. Brie smells like that. So it is breaking apart a little unusually. Gina is going <laughs> so. to love her brie tonight. I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to actually, because it's, it's looking kind of rough. So I think And I'm we've gonna... got more. Yes. We have others. Yes, we have more. We have a charcuterie. Yes. Full of mania meat and some chips and what is that? Smoked cheddar, smoked gouda. It's smoked gouda with cranberry cheese, which is actually not the right word for it. It's cranberry called cranberry cheese. What's this called? Hollet. What's that say? Um, it's Winsleydale cranberry. That's the kind of cheese. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> We're headed out to the cookhouse and it's about a half a mile from where we're staying in our off-grid yurt and we're really excited we actually got to pick our food before we got here and i got the uh, roasted pheasant and you got uh elk right yes elk. the elk tenderloin yep and so we're both going to try it and again out here everything that they serve is all wild game so it can be rack of lamb it can be um what was the other one bunny no, <laughs> I wouldn't eat the bunnies, but, but anyway, There's it's really, pheasant, oh, there is lamb, pheasant. I wonder if there was uh, one There was sea bass, well, elk. It, yeah, and, and it's going to be delicious. It's yeah. a four-course meal, and it's a small, intimate group, and it's in a yurt like this, so we're um, going to be nice and tasty and warm, so we're getting ready to go hike over to our dinner. Yeah, so we're, we're hiking. Uh, we decided not to cross-country ski no because no. we're going to have like fat bellies <laughs> and thinking after that we'd just be well, and let's just thrown up on the right back. We don't like cross-country skiing. It's not fun. Not really for us. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're, we suck at it. We're pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. But that's okay because we know what we like and what we don't like. Yeah. So, okay. all right. Well, we'll tell you more when we get there. See you then. <sighs> Thank you.
So, oh my goodness, this is a very bright light. I like I'm seeing this. dinner. I think that's a step. Hi, we're good. How are you? Sit anywhere? Yes. Two of us. Yeah, what is the name on your reservation? Thorn. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you're welcome to choose. I've got these three tables here set for two. Okay. Uh, this one being a little bit closer to the fire. I think I'll pick that here. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go Thanks. And Steven's very excited because they brought bread right away. <laughs> and he loves his bread. This is a crostini that has goat cheese and pepper dew on it and it's delicious. And then we have wild boar with um, roasted pear. And then this feels like a potato of some sort, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> it is. We, it's a, we don't remember what it is, but it's really tasty. I mean, I'm not, it's not my favorite. My favorite is the crostini. So I have the roasted pheasant with a Israeli couscous and spiced beets. And you have it's an elk tenderloin with a very fancy kind of potato. These are special beets and um, asparagus wrapped in prosciutto. That was fantastic. We should go ahead and give it a try, Let's huh? Let's dig in. Okay. You should pick up the guitar again. I don't play the guitar, so it's nothing for me to pick up. <laughs> it is, and that would be perfect. Far. So our fire burned out, and Stephen's going to live up to the Paul Bunyan reputation of. This should not be on film. <laughs> well, I've already put the wood in, and then I've opened uh, the flues to let the O2 flow. So, so nothing's happening. That's because you got to give it some time. Starting from scratch, everybody. This is how it's done. <laughs> Paper. So you can draw and you can make kindling. basically the, um, uh -huh. the fire needed to be uh, totally rewooded. Yep. And, and you um, did a great job every time. Mm -hmm. And you. then we ventured outside to go to the bathroom in the outhouse. So just taking a quick trip to the outhouse, which is fortunately not very far from our yurt. That is the next yurt right there. And um, let's take a look at the temperature. Oh 
that's negative seven degrees. Okay, we'll make this quick. Successful venture. Back to the home front. Home sweet yurt. Now, to remember the code. But yours truly started the morning fire, so, and it's already starting to feel nice and cozy. Yeah, it's hot as a matter of fact. So we're heading back to the cookhouse. No, we're gonna pass the cookhouse. We're gonna head all the way back to Tennessee Pass. It says negative eight, but we think it's probably zero. And it's beautiful and the snow is falling from the trees. So we'll see if we can keep ourselves upright on the way back. <laughs> So right here at the Tennessee Pass, uh, where we were staying in the yurt and having a great time, is Ski Cooper. It's a great ski resort. It's relatively small. Kind of reminds me of Eldora, back close to uh, Boulder area. Um, but small is great because there's ease of access, close parking to the slopes, um, and it looks like they've got a great distribution of runs from, uh, from the Bunny to the Blacks and then beyond. So this is glue wine and it's got mulled spider, cider, not spiders, <laughs> mulled cider and it's got um, wine and it's a German drink and we just got out of 17 degree weather and doing a nice cross country skiing from uh, our yurt back to the um, Tennessee Pass area so it's much worth it. So I'm going to drink this and I'm going to drink hot cider too. Here we go. Let's see what it tastes like. Tastes great. <laughs> it's delicious. So we just got back from our yurt experience living off the grid. But it was a lot of fun. We had a great time and I certainly recommend if you get a chance to check out the Tennessee Pass cookhouse in yurts. Um, I would book ahead of time because things book up really quickly but it was great. It was really great and we came at like probably the probably one of the coldest although probably January February will be much colder but it was definitely chilly and we stayed nice and warm and even coming out here with the skis we're both sweating and feeling really 
really, really hot. So Yeah, these are not cross-country ski clothes. <laughs> no, but we did good. Yeah. We did good, so for city slickers. So don't forget to subscribe at the bottom um, and learn more about how to live deeper. Thanks for watching. For the billionth time. Mm.